As we contemplate the Pokemon world and the amazing creatures living in there, I am sure that at one point you have Marble at one specific Pokemon and say, whoa, what amazing abilities this guy has. But it's not all pretty rainbows out there, some Pokemon seem to have it really tough. So if you thought that you were having a bad day today, just wait to hear what these 5 Pokemon have to go through. Welcome to my top 5 miserable Pokemon, in my opinion of course. Here's a throwback to Gen 1. I always thought of Psyduck being pretty cool because of the anime and how he was portrayed as being dumb and silly, but every time he used his true powers, then it was on. Psychic Pokemon were the strongest back then, and seeing this guy show the type of badass he was, it was just so fun to watch. However, according to the Pokedex, this comes at a terrible price. Always tormented by headaches, it uses psychic powers but is not known if it intends to do so. Having a headache is bad enough. I can't imagine what it would be like for it to never go away. Some of you guys might say, yeah, but he has cool powers, and that would be all fine knowing that your headache gives you these amazing psychic powers. But according to the Pokedex, when he uses his psychic powers because of an extreme headache, he can't even remember what happened. It's like being a superhero and you don't even know it. Nosepass to me was just that weird looking Pokemon, like bubble ball 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 bubble ball weird. But not gonna lie, this guy is a freaking tank. But as you start reading his Pokedex entries, you start to realize that, wow, this guy has it really bad. First of all, they just stand there. Nosepass had been said to be completely unmoving, with his magnetic nose pointed due north. However, close observation has revealed that the Pokemon actually moves by a little over 3 eighths of an inch every year. Alright, so they move, but really? 3 eighths? The first year Nosepass will look like he's in the same spot. But here's the worst part. Say you're a handsome male Nosepass, trying to attract the perfect lady for you. And you use your awesome magnetic powers to bring her closer to you. After like 65 million years, she's within touching distance. But guess what? You can't even look at her. Nosepass's magnetic nose is always pointed to the north. If two of these Pokemon meet, they cannot turn their faces to each other when they are close because their magnetic noses repel one another. That has to be a really awkward day. I would be butthurt. Get it? But? No? Okay. So here's an obvious one. Spoink. Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, this Pokemon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. Alright Game Freak, that is kinda dark. But it's not that bad if you think about it. We humans need to breathe, or we die, even if we are asleep. That is why breathing is an involuntary action for the most part. So my guess is that this is the same for Spoink. The problem here is that if some random kid comes to you like, Oh my god, you're so cute, and picks you up, then you're probably dead. Even more creepier is that they carry a clamper pearl, which they live in the deep sea. So how the heck do they get them? And last time I checked, bouncing inside the water would be extremely difficult. Dana's story is just plain wrong, so this is what the Pokédex has to say. They cannot see, so they tackle and bite to learn about their surroundings. Their bodies are covered in wounds. Whoa. It's bad enough that you're blind, but the fact that your other senses must suck because you have to bump into everything doesn't really help either. I can imagine. Hi there, little cute Dano. <laughs> okay, I think you like to tackle things. <laughs> Alright, just walking around here. I should be pretty safe, right? If I just keep moving forward. You guys would tell me if there's danger, right? What is even more depressing is the fact that this can all be avoided by taking a trip to my local barber. Damn you, high classy fashion. If you knew number one, then you know how old miserable Satu actually is. Everything gets spoiled for you. So I was going to use this Pokedex entry. Satu stands rooted and still in one spot all day long. People believe that this Pokemon does so out of fear of the terrible things that he has foreseen in the future. I have to admit, that is horrible. Like knowing that your Netflix account is going to get cancelled, or your cell phone is going to go through a terrible accident tomorrow and you're going to be stuck with one of these flip phones. 
Now that's scary. But as I started looking more into him, I realized that there's something even more messed up. In South America, it is said that his right eye sees the future and his left eye views the past. This guy doesn't move because he's more confused than a horde of slowpokes and side dogs. It's like Archie's made a programming error and it's like there's a delay in one of your eyeballs. Oh wait, there's a giant bullet coming my way. Wait, if I close this eye, it's still far away. But in this one, it's closer. Which one is it? Ah, I'm sure I got time. I would be terrified of taking a step. So Satu, I feel for you, man. At the end of the day, guys, we all go through some hardships. Our bodies may not be in top-notch shapes, or the world seems to really hate us and likes to show that every day. But no matter how bad things might seem, know this. Back in the day, golf balls used to be nice and smooth. But the players noticed that their old beat up golf balls would actually travel further. Turns out that having dimples all over them reduces drag. So if you feel like life is putting all these dents on you, it might be so that you can go further than everybody else. <laughs>